While it's always a good idea to attend any festival that your film is screening at, there are many filmmakers that just don't have the time or ability to travel around the globe with their projects. Some may elect to just attend the ones that are held close to home, while others might not attend any at all. Regardless of if the filmmaker attends or not, the project may well attract some attention during its screening and even win an award. Film festivals hold great opportunity for filmmakers to get together and do some networking. Many films have come to be after a few people met at an event and started talking. Many festivals will also introduce the filmmakers to the audience after their films have screened in a Q&A session. Nowadays, it's very common for people to swap contact information using their phones. They'll exchange numbers and maybe even friend each other on any social media platforms that they have in common. It's also common for people to forget many of the names of their new contacts, or who was involved with which film, especially after having met dozens of people at the same festival. However, if they were impressed with a film, they usually remember the title. When a film draws someone's attention, and the filmmaker is not at the screening, they really have to rely on some sort of web presence in order to get into contact. They may jot down the title of the film or the director's name on the poster in order to look them up at a later time. And this is why having a website, or at the very least, a social media page for your film is so important. If someone cannot find you, they cannot reach out to you. This can get frustrating for them and cause you to miss out on some good opportunities. Some people are not keen on the idea of putting their personal email out to the public. That's understandable. But there is really no reason why you can't get a second email account to use strictly for your films. Some people even create accounts for each one of their projects although that can get confusing after you've produced a few. While having an actual website with a custom domain name is really the best way to go, some filmmakers do just rely on social media as a way to promote their films and give people a way to contact them. Just remember that not everyone uses the same social media and some even avoid it altogether. No matter how you choose to do it, the important thing is to have some sort of way for people to be able to find your film online and contact you. Remember, this is an industry that relies heavily on people meeting each other to make things happen.